Hello there, my name is Ismaus and today we're going to be looking at how to make rain in uh, this Blender Daily Tip. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, let's add a plane. Uh, this is going to be our ground and uh, also we can duplicate this to use it as our cloud or the source of the rain. Uh, let me turn on random colors so that we have different colors, different color shade for each object and go to the particle system, add a new particle system and uh, then can play back or reduce the time frame uh, to about 100 frames uh, so that uh, it's a short uh, timeline uh, that we can work with and uh, basically this is what we, wa what we have and uh, this is not a very convincing particle system so let's add our own particle uh, that is shaped in a teardrop uh, shape uh, that uh, will create a convincing a more convincing uh, raindrop so let's just add a cube a scale it in the y-axis uh, like this maybe extrude at the bottom part uh, stay away from using a lot of polygons uh, because we are going to use uh, this as uh, the particle of, uh, we, basically what you're going to be doing is replace every particle you see here uh, replace it with this cube so if you have a lot of polygons in this cube uh, you're going to have a lot of polygons in your ring uh, which is going to uh, scale, s slow down your, your PC so uh, but if your PC can handle it uh, you can uh, go for for it I'm also going to turn on uh, shade smooth uh, for this so that we have a nice shade of this and uh, let me try giving this a material or uh, something like this and now select the uh, select the plane and uh, then go to the particle system under render I uh, select object and then select uh, this as the instance uh, you can see uh, this is what we are getting uh, right now the rain is going through uh, the uh, the plane so what I'm going to do is add let me first increase uh, the velocity here to about uh, actually let's use negative 10 in the normal direction uh, because uh, the normals were facing up so giving it an, a negative direction I will just make them fall down I'm, I'm also going to rotate this on the x-axis so that we have some directional rain like this but I don't like how it's uh, it's going through the ground so um, what I'm going to do is select this ground and uh, under the physics tab I can turn on collision uh, so that uh, the rain just bounces off of that and uh, also I will also turn on uh, it's called kill, par kill particles uh, this will also eliminate any particles that collide uh, with this uh, plane uh, making sure that uh, you don't see any bouncing of particles uh, like that so let's kill those particles and uh, this is what we have so far let's try some lighting here and see how that would look with some lighting I'll just change this and add a camera here shift a camera look through this I'll push uh, the camera back a bit some light here or add we just add a point light just to see how this looks so far and I'll increase this and uh, what I'm also going to do is uh, uh, you can turn off the plane here uh, by going under the display and uh, instancing a uh, turn off render instance render instance and uh, display instance as uh, this will turn on the uh, this will uh, remove uh, the instance or, or the emitter uh, but I uh, will remain uh, with uh, the particles so this is what we have and uh, maybe we can change uh, the background color make it a bit darker let me give it a bluish tint so we have this but uh, it's not very convincing because we don't have any bouncing uh, particles are uh, when the particle when the raindrops hit uh, the ground so let's see how we can work on that so let me also add some subdivisions here so that we have a uh, somewhat uneven uh, ground here I will go to the uh, uh, to the modifiers and add a displacement modifier and then add a, a noise texture a clouds texture uh, clouds reduce on this scale uh, maybe 
segregation of the power. Give this a smooth shade. Just want to give it a very uneven surface. Uh, just to, uh, to figure out the scale here, I'm just going to add an empty here so that I can use it to control uh, the scale of the noise in the displacement modifier. So I'll select the other uh, mesh, go to texture coordinates, I'll select object and select uh, this object. Uh, I can scale it up or scale it down to get a better size. I think this is better. And I'm also going to uh, move this displacement above the collision so that uh, the simulation takes uh, this displacement into consideration. And now, to, uh, to have those reactor particles are uh, where the rain, if a raindrop hits the ground, uh, you get some splashes. Uh, we're going to add another particle system on the ground material, on the ground plane. Uh, so let's go to the particle settings, add a new particle system. Uh, the first thing we're going to remove, let's see, let's see. The first thing we're going to do is add uh, a velocity, 10, let's add a 10. Let's give it a normal velocity of 10. I think that's too much. Let's try 5. You see how they're bouncing off? But uh, the problem is they're bouncing off, but they are also uh, falling through the ground. Uh, because this is the emitter particle, uh, we can't use the collision here uh, to remove those particles. So, so what we're going to do is uh, just go to the particle systems and uh, particle settings. Where is that? and reduce uh, the lifetime of the particles. So instead of having a, a lifetime of 50 frames, let's give it a very short time frame so that by the time they're about to go through the plane, uh, they're already dead and disappearing. So I think uh, this is too short because they're just kind of floating in the air and then disappear. Let's say 20. Uh, so that should be enough time for them to go up and then bounce back. Let's see 30. And maybe what we can do, let's try playing around with the velocity, with the gravitational force, so that they pull back, they're pulled back a little bit faster. So if we go to the field weight, we can ch increase the the gravitational force uh, by a factor of 1.2. Let's try a two. So let's try a three. And uh, now we can also reduce uh, the lifetime again. Let's try 10. And you can see we don't get a lot of particles going through the ground, uh, but you can see we are getting those reactor reaction or splashes on the ground. And that make them look even better. We can add, let's use hmm, icosphere, but uh, with, very, with a subdivision of one, uh, shade smooth. I think this is, a, this is not too much, let's say so. I then go to the particle system and select render as, change the render as to object and select these as the object. I want to randomize uh, the scale and uh, maybe increase uh, the count here. And also let's reduce the end frame to about 100 because that's the only number of frames we are rendering here. And that may be increase uh, the rain here. Let's reduce the, this. And then I can see, the, you can see where the rain is starting. Uh, so to make sure that we don't have that, uh, we can s change the start frame to about 100 frames earlier so that it's a continuous, it's a continuous rain. And uh, we can increase the particle system here. Thousand. Let's see how that looks, and you can see how those particles are working. You can also give them this a teardrop shape like this, and uh, you can give it also a random. We can randomize the rotation. Uh, the, these velocity settings here and just to give it some random movement maybe some rotation as well randomize the rotation as well 
just to see and see how those particles are now dropping. Just try doubling the normal velocity here. And uh, I don't like how these raindrops just fall directly down uh, when we have this uh, angle in the rain. So what I'm going to do is select the particle system here and uh, under rotation, I think, under object, I can turn on object rotation so that uh, the particles copy the rotation of uh, the object. And now I can just rotate this in this direction and the rain will also have that direction as well. So you can see we're getting those splash particles and to make them even better uh, we can go under the children on the in the particle settings go to the children and turn on uh, uh, those <coughs> children particles so I'm, I'm, I'm just using the simple uh, sil simple option I'd have uh, a few extra particles for every particle we have at a uh, uh, the count is about a bit too high, so I'm just going to put it to about 5 and uh, also the render amount to about 5 uh, because if you're using cycles, uh, it will render this amount instead of this here. Uh, so, see, other settings don't really work that well here, but uh, let's try the seed. You want a size variation here. Also, the radius will just push them a bit far from the, the source. You can see now we have a few extra particles in there. And uh, imagine if you have some materials on this, how it would look. And uh, yeah, so you can go on and uh, play with those settings, but uh, basically, and uh, the, the nice thing about this way of working is that uh, if you had, say, an umbrella uh, in here, Say, let's just create a quick umbrella here. Um, I'll just extrude this in the z-axis, then bevel this. Let's imagine this was our umbrella. Maybe just select a few of these rings like this. So if this was our umbrella and uh, we wanted it to uh, also collide with this object and uh, emit those uh, particles, all we have to do is again add a collision modifier uh, so that these, mat these objects, so that the raindrops are collide with it and you can see underneath it you don't see any raindrops going through and uh, make sure you kill the particles as well so that uh, any particle that hits it uh, kind of just dies and uh, under go to the particle settings and also give it a particle system but uh, this time just copy the particle system we're using here so I'll call this reactor or splashes splashes uh, so then in the particle setting for this I'll just give it uh, the same reactor particles. Now you can see when we play back, you can see the same reaction. Uh, the, umbrella, the umbrella is doing the same thing, so I can even reflect this. Let me actually unmade this a bit so that you can see how that looks. Maybe just start from there. It goes through the rain. So, you can see how that looks. Let me actually increase the size of this because I want to see how much of these rain particles are being deflected. You can see how that looks. So, yeah. It gives the illusion that uh, whenever the raindrops hit on this, uh, it kind of creates splashes. And uh, if you have the time for materials and what, you can see how good you can make this look even better. So let's make sure this is about. Let's try transmission. 
function I reduce the alpha and uh, plane If you played with the materials a bit, uh, you can make it look even better. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.